What's going on folks? Eric here from Fix Your Car. So today we're going to be talking about our Innova 5610 scan tool. Uh, some of the things we're going to talk about on here is just some basic tests you can actually run with this scanner. One of the things that I think is very cool about this scanner is it has bi-directional command, uh, meaning you can turn on and off uh, things and test them out and kind of eliminate some of your troubleshooting. Uh, doesn't work on every single thing on your car. Some of them you actually need the dealer specific uh, tool, whatever they're using that might be for the specific module they're plugging into. Uh, but this will do a lot of the basic ones. And one of the basic ones we're going to do today is the battery or alternator test. Uh, so let's show you that. We'll get back to the video in just a minute. Real quick, like and subscribe. Share this video with a friend. Let's get the word out about car maintenance and misinformation. With that in mind, I created a free guide. If you head over to my website, www.fixyourcar.net, click on that orange button. You'll get a free guide that will show you when you need to do maintenance on your vehicle and so you won't be led astray and misinformed by the auto manufacturers. All right, now back to the episode. So I got my tool plugged in here. Uh, the first thing we're going to go do is hit menu. And we're going to go down to battery alternator test. And let's check the battery first. Why not? Okay, it says the vehicle must be prepared for battery test. Vehicle not moving. The transmission in park or neutral, which we are. Uh, ensure the parking brake is on. We can do that real quick. Safety first, right? Hit continue. Okay, it says turn the headlights on. So... We'll do that. Hit continue. It's gonna do its countdown. So what it's doing in the real world, what you do is a, what they call a load test. So that's how you used to test a battery is you'd put a load against it. And if it dropped below 12 and a half ish volts, then the battery was bad. Um, this is basically doing the same thing. It's just doing it through your um, data link. So that's asking to turn off the headlights. Hit continue. Now start the engine within 30 seconds. If you don't start the engine, the test cannot be performed. So let's do that. Okay, it's giving us our readout and giving us basically the green light saying it's good. Okay, now let's go back. Let's try our alternator test. And engine needs to be running at normal temperature to begin this test. Start the engine and turn your headlights. Turn on your headlights. Note, do not perform this test on smart alternator, hybrid, or electric vehicles. So... We basically have it running. It's at somewhat of an operating temperature. Okay, it says increase engine speed above 2,000 RPM and hold it there until the countdown reaches zero. All right. Oh, sorry. As you can see on here, it's starting to count down. And it's giving you your voltage so you need to be above 12 volts or 13 to actually charge up the battery after you start it. That's how it works is it pulls from the battery once it's started and then it retests it. Turn the headlights to the off position. Okay, alternator status good. Charging voltage within specification. All right, so that's one of the tests you can do. Uh, just real quick, I was going to show you that. Uh, we're going to do some more in-depth videos with this scanner. I kind of just like this scanner from a DIY perspective. It has a very lot of useful information, a lot of things you could do on your own, test out before you take it to a mechanic, which is what we're all trying to do here, save some money before we have to go to the shop. But these cars are getting so complicated that some of these things, they don't even work. You know, like I'm thinking of the airbag module you know uh, that has its own separate kind of system that it works on and you might be able to access some of the information but a lot of these 
things that if you replace like I don't know say an airbag or something like that you'd have to recalibrate it you wouldn't even have the right tool and a lot of independent shops might not even have the right tool um, it's probably a dealer only thing but uh, just a very short quick video uh, we're going to be doing some more in the upcoming videos on this scan tool and show you some more advanced features and how to check things out how to do the more bi-directional commands and test things out so you can better know your car and better know how to troubleshoot. Um, take care. God bless.